This video is describing the solutions for questions six and seven on the geometry end of course released questions from spring of 2018. So this question number six deals with probability and we're talking here about 20 or 50 students that play either lacrosse or soccer with a given breakdown. And the question asks, what is the probability that a student plays soccer or is a girl? So if you've studied probability, this should come to mind, bring to mind the addition rule of probability, which is the probability of A or B is going to equal the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A or B. Sorry, A and B. So where A is an event and B is an event, so we can define what event A is, so that would be playing soccer, and then event B we could call being a girl. A good strategy for this problem is to just go ahead and create a two-way table. So we'll, since we have two different variables going on here, we have uh, boys, girls, we'll have to include a, a row for our total. Then we've got our two sports here. We've got lacrosse, soccer, and our total. And now we can fill in the given information and do some simple subtraction to find the missing pieces. So this is 20 girls play lacrosse. So girls, lacrosse, we put a 20. 20 boys play either soccer or lacrosse. So that means there's 20 boys total. Those combined. And 20 students play soccer. And back to the beginning, we know there's 50 total students. So that's our given information. From the given, anytime there's a row or column with two items given and a third missing, we can just subtract. So 50 minus 20, now we know there's a total of 30 girls, which we defined that was event B. So that's going to play into our equation. And then we have this total uh, row at the bottom, we have 50 total students, 20 that play soccer. So 30 students play lacrosse. And then we can find this um, soccer girls, 30 minus 20 is 10. Our soccer boys would be 20 minus 10 is 10. And our lacrosse boys would be 30 minus 20 is 10. So let's fill everything into the equation then. The probability of event A, and we define event A being a student that plays soccer. So that's 20 out of the 50 total students that play soccer. And then we have the 30 girls out of the 50 total students, and that's event B, that our student is a girl. If we just added those up, we'd have 100%, which doesn't make sense. So we have to subtract. I forgot to write the letter A. We have to subtract the event that the student is both a girl that also plays soccer. So that would be 10 out of 50. So with addition, this, this is nicely set up. We have adding fractions, you need a common denominator, which we already have. So don't need the calculator, just add them up. 20 plus 30 is 50, minus 10 is 40, and the denominator stays the same. So we have 40 out of 50 students are either a soccer player or a girl. So we can write probability, we can change this into a simplified fraction and write it as 4 out of 5. We could write it as a decimal, 0.8. Either one of those would be a good answer. Question seven.
talking about a cube. So all sides are squares. All six sides are squares. And we have it sliced as shown, right, from this upper diagonal to this lower back diagonal or uh, edge. And we're trying to figure out what is the shape that's created there. Well, we know that in a square, all sides are equal, right? But if we have a diagonal here, we have a right triangle. The hypotenuse is always larger than those legs. This would be an isosceles right triangle. And that's what helps us know that this has to be a rectangle, since this edge is the same length as all of the edges in the cube, but this uh, side of the um, cross section has to be longer. So that's why we know that the cross section of a cube is a rectangle.